Hey there YouTube, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We had a question from an Edward Long. He asks, um, I'd like to print things in uh, legal paper and what he'd like it to do is ask every time somebody clicks print it'll say hey is this legal paper and if they say no he want or if they click cancel rather he wants the, the print to cancel um, so let's go ahead and review how to do that I'm gonna hit alt F11 to get into the visual basic editor and uh, we're gonna click on this workbook notice I'm not clicking on one of the sheets and I'm not using a module I'm gonna go to this workbook because there is a workbook event called before print there it is. So this triggers every time somebody wants to click the print button. So let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, so on the before print, you notice that one of the variables built in to the before print um, event is a cancel variable. It's called cancel. And it's a Boolean, meaning cancel is going to equal true or cancel is going to equal false. That's all a Boolean could be, true or false. So let's check that out. So we're going to start out by as soon as somebody tries to print something before it prints, it's going to do this sub here. So we're going to say, um, how about the, we'll just say answer equal. Now you don't have to use answer, but I'm going to use the word answer. You can put ans just to show you can put anything you want. Some variable name equals <coughs> the message box and put the parentheses because we're going to use parentheses whenever your message box is going into something else. So this is the prompt. Um, is this legal paper? Question mark. And comma. So this is going to be VB yes no cancel. There it is. Tab. Um, we don't need a title but why not? Legal? Question mark. Okay. Now end your parentheses it's only parentheses if it's if the message box is going into a variable but the answer is going into a variable so if ans equals vb cancel then so if they click cancel in particular then here's what you need to happen i'm going to put my end if to so i don't forget it later so let's see here if they if the answer that was shoved in from the button being clicked equals cancel the cancel one then how about our built-in variable cancel for the before print feature equals true cancel equals true and that makes it not print after all okay cancel equals true and we could even do another message box that says user canceled print job but I think they know that they print, canceled the print job and frankly after a thousand times of it popping up and you having to click OK it would be annoying so let's just leave it at that I'm gonna click print let's do print preview and I'm gonna go ahead and um, click on print is this legal paper if I hit yes, if I hit no, I think nothing's programmed in, so it's just going to go ahead and print. I'm going to click cancel, and it did not print. So, hopefully that helped you very much, and uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Merry Christmas, everybody.